Hey guys, and welcome back to Adam Smasher Land Charters Mod Pack, all about exploring the solar system and other high tech shenanigans. And today, we're finally going to do it, guys. I've been saying for a long time we're going to have a look at the cybernetic plants. Look at all these. Look at all these. And today is the day. We're going to finally do it. But to do that, we need a few things. Yes, indeed. We need the ways of changing this purple body. We need to get in and chop off bits, replace bits. Cybernetics, man. It's all about putting computerized parts in front inside of you. First thing, li little little confession. Uh, I may have made a cyberware en engineering table by accident. If we have a look up here, I just kind of put all the stuff in and then just... I'm sure by accident, I'm sure many of you have done it before. You've put the last thing down and just clicked across. And then I ended up with this in my inventory. Go, oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. But here we go. Cybernetic engineering table. Where can I put it? Right about there. Beautiful. It's looking good. This is for putting in various parts of your salvaged cybernetic gear. If you aren't aware, by the way, sorry, I should probably point out that this can be got from a various cybernetic bad guys. I'm going to see if there's anyone flying around at the moment. No, but you'll find all sorts of skeletons, zombies, and other humanoid creatures that carry uh, cybernetics implants. And when you kill them, you have a chance of them dropping them. And as you can see, I have been salvaging them for quite some time. Indeed, a quite some time. Uh, and I've decided that I want to put these few inside me. Let's have a look here. We've got the salvage solar skin. Now this produces energy. Energy, very important to run cybernetic parts, as I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, over here is it a battery to store the energy. It's nice and simple. Uh, then we have uh, motor muscle replacement monomer. Hey, okay. Uh, this uh, uses the power, increases my, my movement rate. I, I think that's something that's going to be done there. Uh, the other thing over here is the sal uh, salvage synthetic skin. That is to cover up the fact that I'm going to be be wearing an, a cyber arm. Uh, the reason that I want to wear a cyber arm is mainly to be uh, upgraded for retractable claws or fine manipulators or something like that, but that's all in the future. That is all in the future. Now, to implant these things into me, uh, we could like work, break these things down. What, what have we got here? Let's, let's have a look. What have I got a fair few of? What are these? Distance enhancer. I have no idea what that is, but we're, we're going to go ahead. Zooms in on distant objects. So you can put it into the box. Oh, that's good. It shows up there. And you can uh, avoid the warranty. Bam! And it breaks it down into parts. Synthetic nerves and fiber optics. Now, using a scanning device. Where, where is it? Here we go. The cyberware scanner, which I should be able to build nice and easily. We take oh, one of these. A single diamond. And a bunch of iron. And then we come inside here. Now, when it won't be, let me make it from the book, it won't. But we pop those in like this and go all the way around. Now, why would I even want to make one of these? Ah, oh, well, if you have a look on here, these are all salvaged. And you can see one of the stats that it gives is tolerance. If we look on this, it's one with only one of them. It's the purple writing there, right in the middle. Tolerance cost 18. That's pretty high. I have a tolerance of uh, 100 that I can deal with. And if I go below 25, I start receiving damage. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these solar skins and we're going to put it inside here. Now, I need to get a bit of paper. That That is a must. I forgot all about that. Thankfully, paper is something that I keep at all times. And then we pop that in there. Now, I'm not sure if this needs any, pa any power. Sorry. It doesn't look like it does. But the thing to note here is 20 minutes later, I'm going to get a chance to get a blueprint. Now, as you can see, it's a 10% chance right there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to run a fair few of those through. But I think I think we I think we can go with some salvaged. I don't know about you guys. Let's do it. Over here, I have something called a robo surgeon. A little bit expensive to make, but not the end of the world. The tools were the worst there. Uh, that is the brains of this thing over here. It's a surgery surgery chamber. Surgery chamber. Low. So what we need to do? Oh yeah, quest complete. Uh, so the, the the other thing that I had to point out was um, the I did the surgeon there. That's really good. I, I'm not sure what we're going to take at the moment. We'll probably grab something, some of the cybernetic parts. But over here, uh, the cybernetic engineering table that that was something else that I uh, that I had done unfortunately. And that's the end of the cybernetic quest line. Yep, words they they did me well there. But not the end of using cybernetics. So we put that down there. And I want to put the robo surgeon. I don't know why I just clicked it up onto my uh, my thing, onto my inventory. Uh, the robo surgeon goes right there. 
nice on top. I'm not sure if it has to be on top or whether it can just be connecting. Uh, I've always done it on top. Uh, and you get a nice little representation of me. Oh, isn't that great? Now, we can go inside and you can just kind of click down onto various bits. So this is like the lung slot. I could pull my, my lungs out. I don't think that's a good idea. I think that might even be a bad idea. So we come all the way back and have a look on the item. Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't let us see where we need to be putting things. So I just happen to know that I want the skin slot for the solar skin. Makes sense, right? And you can see immediately, bam, off comes some of my tolerance. Now let's have a look in here. Where does this one belong? Uh, lower organs slot. What else? Lower organs, muscle, arm, skin. Okay, lower organs, muscle, skin. Okay, where, where, where's lower organs? I'm guessing down here. Does this look like a lower organ? Human stomach? Yeah, that, that will go for lower organs for me. That seems to work out quite well. Then we want the muscle. Now, my muscle is once again something on this skin. You can see we've got skin, fat, muscle, and bone. So in goes my muscle. Do I have to replace? Okay, so we actually have to replace. That's fine. I can deal with that. Uh, then we want to come over here. Now, is this a skin slot? I think it was actually a skin slot. Uh, I'm going to go in there, and we're going to replace one of my arms. Now, you... you can remove arms. I didn't really want to do that. Uh, let's click to put that back. You can remove arms. Uh, something that is actually fun is uh, removing all your <laughs> all your limbs and flying around with the jetpack. Uh, I did that in a test world. That was, in fact, in fact, hold on, hold on, hold on. A word of warning. Whilst you do not have to necessarily do this in a test world, you really do have to make sure you have a jetpack on if you're going to do this. So, we need to go to the Robo Surgeon up here. We come inside, we let it do its little thing. And I'm going to go first off to the arm slot. Yeah, let's start off by doing that. I'm just going to remove both my human arms. Yeah, yeah, why, why would I not do that? And then I'm going to come all the way back and then I'm going to remove, yeah, you guessed it, both my human legs. All right, that's going to be oh, working out well for me. We come inside here, click on that and we wait. I am in creative mode, so it should have actually done a little bit of damage there. The first thing you'll notice is that I'm a little bit short. Ah, uh, let me get my jetpack back. I just wanted to clear the items out of my inventory, but I forgot that that would indeed clear everything away. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, sure. Let, let's try and get out. I, I'm, I'm short now. I am sure. This 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 is a good way of travelling, though. Uh, I, I really cannot recommend it enough. I, I reckon you could probably... Well, well she can't hold items. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I, need to, I need to do some tests. You guys up for a test or two? Uh, let's go for... Let's go for the M4. That's probably a good place to start. And then I'm going to also need to... Oh, look. I can actually hold it. Doesn't look like I am. But I'm responding as if I'm holding stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. It only appears the first time. Okay. All right. Well. Yeah. Anyway, it, it was it was so funny that I wanted to show you guys. Oh, and incidentally, if you want to know how to get rid of it, I should have been in survival the whole time. Anyway, this works 100% in survival. Uh, I'm just gonna fly all the way up here and then kind of drop myself. Uh, the quickest way to save it is uh, just. Just reset your character. It's nice and simple as that. If you're playing hardcore, you can like reprogram the Robo sur Surgeon and uh, go back in with the the arms and legs that you were given in your inventory. But uh, that that doesn't sound as much fun, does it? Okay, and with all those fun things aside, I've gone ahead and put the salvaged uh, what's this called? synthetic skin into the slot here. This should help make me look, uh, you know, normal. Uh, but look, I'm all the way down to 28 tolerance. That That's that's going to be painful. I'm not actually sure whether I have got the health to survive this. Let's go over to my little box of tricks here. Uh, I've been collecting hearts off of uh, purple flaming bad guys. You've probably seen them around, the bad guys that are on purple fire. They drop crystals, nine crystals to a heart. It's nice and simple like that. Let's close this up. Gonna take a little bit of damage. Oh, I would have been left with half a heart. That that was painful there. Uh, but now if we look from the outside, I look totally normal because we put the synthetic skin on. But I should run a lot faster. I'm not sure. Oh, hello. Pressing shift swaps my hand position. Ah, that is interesting. I'm not sure that's what I wanted. Oh well, that's that's fine. What 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 is going on? 
Why is it changing? All right, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Where, where, where is my my arms? Where, where are my arms? That's that's more the question I'm asking there. Where is my arm? Uh, I want to swap you back over. I I didn't like that. No, 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 no. Let's let's swap that out. I want to I want to get my my good arm back. Thanks very much. Oh. Okay, well, that that's a thing. Now, if I do this, it's not going to swap around on me, is it? Okay, so maybe if I get another salvaged arm. The problem is uh, that I cannot take any more. If we, if we have a look up there, I've got a little bit. The one arm took me all the way down. But I want to get a whole bunch more stuff for salvaging, uh, in particular the, the arms. I, I really want to start running through a few of these. Oh, look, the time has been ticking up whilst we've been mucking around in the test world. Oh, that is uh, beautiful. But to do that, I want to build a thing. And where is that thing? It's over here, the radio kit. Uh, solid state circuitry is something I don't know how to make. And the fiber optics we got out of the... Uh, out of the machine there. Oh, it looks like that's how we're going to have to do it. So what do we reckon contains solid state surgery? Let's try the... Oh, man, I, I don't know. What what would what, what would hold solid state? Mm. Let's try the low light vision. I probably would have liked to have had that. Uh, maybe the bone lacing, but I doubt that. One of these salvage distance enhancers. Let, let's try these... <laughs> No. Uh, let's try these things and see what we get out of them. Uh, any of them going to give me what I'm after? Yes. Oh, fuck no. That's a bioreactor. That's not what I'm after. No. So I started just breaking down anything that I had two of and I found a solid state. I think it was in either the targeting overlay or the threat matrix calculator. One of those two had the solid, solid state circuitry in it. Wow. Words. Okay, so for now, I think we need to come over and grab a whole load of iron. I went and stole some um, nether wart off of forest. It turns out it was the only bit, but I'm planning to grow some and then go and give it back to him. So that, that should work out all right. We're, we're good friends. That will all work out. Uh, mainly because uh, when I was looking on the wiki for this, about this radio that we're just about to finish, this one here, radio kit, lovely. I'll take it. Big man. All it ever exclusively talked about were cyber zombies. Now, I was fairly sure I've taken down more than a few cyber skeletons in my time. So what we're going to do go do is break this open here. We're going to go wander down to the skeleton spawner that I have. It's all the way down the bottom. But if that fails, we're going to use an RF wand, I think it is. I found it in just by typing spawn in. And then over here, we have the spawner seeker. Searches out the nearest dungeon spawner. A uh, couple of nether warts, some mossy stone, and an ender pearl. Nice and easy to get, especially as I stole the uh, nether wart off a of forest there. Uh, and then we're going to go around and look for a zombie spawner if need be. But hopefully we can get down and have a look at the skeleton spawner. I'm going to uh, AFK down there for 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Uh, let's get a bit of a replay on the go and I will show you what we get. This is a weird visual glitch. It thinks the uh, XP is getting up to me. All right, let's uh, go out and have a look. It's been about 15, maybe 20 minutes. I don't like the way there's bones up here. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, there's there's some scary things to watch out for there. I'm going to start by doing that. Oh, he died. Okay, that, that's, that's good. That's good. Anything else to worry about? I can't see any. Let's make a nice, easy way in and out here. It's a little bit dangerous in here. Oh, it turns out a lot of stuff has been filled, but that's fine. Can I get up and get all the stuff? I can. Okay. All right. This this is actually really good. Look, we've got a whole load of salvage stuff here. It's a shame about all... Uh, what's an AR visor? I'm going to grab that. I'm just going to grab everything that I can see that might be useful and uh, see you back at the house. Oh, is the scan done? Uh, no, we're at 10% chance. It didn't break it. Is that really true? Okay. All right, actually, that's pretty cool. I thought it was going to break it. Oh, 
That's a lot better. Like a lot better. Let's have a look. What have we got here? An Ender Jammer blocks Enderman teleportation. That's pretty good. Uh, more fine manipulators, retractable claws. You know what? I think I'm going to put some of the retractable claws in for breakage. What have we got? Linear actuator requires left or right uh, leg. Shift jump to launch yourself. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, salvage sight trait enchantment. Resilient to full damage. That's... That, that, I think I might need that one. That's definitely one for me. And then bone lacing, of course. Cool. Uh, and some shades. I mean, why would I not want some shades? Nice. I think I'm actually going to go straight ahead and put the uh, side trick enhancement, if that's how you pronounce that, in there. Uh, let's have a... Oh, it doesn't show me. So let's... Oh, it said... Did it say I needed a, a, a leg? No, it just goes in my bone slot. Oh, that that's even better. That's even better. Okay, pop it down there and just throw it in like like so is that all i need to do that is all i need to do okay awesome fine now it says i'm resilient that kind of hurt a little bit uh it says i'm resilient but how resilient i'm just gonna keep on eating here i've got no full protection on at the back wait i do don't i let's uh let's take these boots off <laughs> Uh, I've, I've only got four hearts. Uh, no, let's try again. I've only got seven hearts. So let's let's see how this goes. Mm, not as good as I was hoping for. Not as good as I was hoping for. Oh well, that that'll be fine. I'll be fine. It helps me out a little bit. Or does it? So the next thing I want to do has to do with the fact that I have got a lot of stuff in my inventory. I, I think you can all see there that mm, it, it's starting to overflow with items. Is that is it that way around? Man, the, the different ways of dealing with different stuff. Oh, hey, Forrest, how's it going? Uh... Uh, anyway, he was going around to find out what the compacting drawers were called. Awesome. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I've got a whole load of stuff on me at the moment. And, oh, is is that really the end of my iron? Oh, that that's going to call for another very quick change. Uh, he's, so, he's so disruptive. I'm just going to throw this in here and I'll be back with a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> So as I was saying, I'm picking up a lot of random stuff and I really need to figure out something to do with it all. Now, I could just keep expanding the wall, putting in upgrades. Like one of the things I've got is dirt and I've got a, I've got a space for dirt here, but I don't think I'm ever going to need more than the uh, 2048 that this drawer stores. I could put upgrades in, uh, expand it out to like literal hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions. I, I'm not entirely certain, but I want to I want to build a recycler instead. I think that's going to do me a lot better. Oh man, I really wish that worked. Uh, let's go around like that brilliantly. Uh, I so I need some stone, just any type of stone will do. I wonder what I'm in excess of this one here. Okay, let's go for a few of those and the circuit that I picked up way back at the beginning of this process uh, pop them in like that's my water bucket let's do this again uh, through there and through there a compressor so the next step is to get the compressor some iron ingots one two and then a little bit of a glowstone and then with the dirt that I already have upon me we should be able to make a beautiful new machine like a soul. Okay, recycler. Nice, nice. Where have I got a power outlet? I don't really have one at the moment, do I? Okay, I'm going to have to remodel a little bit of this. I'm noticing that this needs expanding upon. I'm just wondering how to go through. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. I will be back. So I've hooked up the recycler back at the base, and mainly I did that just so that I could clear my inventory out of all the random stuff that I didn't really know where to put. But it turns out it has a secondary um, consequence, shall we say, a secondary purpose that we can take advantage of. Let's try and slowly make our way down here. There is a slim chance that you guys are going to watch me die here, because these, when they die, produce little skeleton heads that can come and hunt me down, and oh, it would be horrific. But look at all this stuff here. Can I press R and get that Sorted? No, I can't. How about if we press this button instead? Okay, that's pretty good. It did throw a, uh, a bow in my, my inventory. I'm not, I'm not so interested about that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go around and take out all the salvage cyberware. Yes, indeed. That is the whole purpose of this little beast that we have built here. A salvaged hudjack. I hear that is the one to go for. Uh, what else do we need? A therm oh, wow. Camouflage. That's good. Threat matrix. Okay, so we're, we've been getting an awful a lot of stuff here. But then I also want to put all this. Now that I've gone through and searched it out, 
into the into the recycler and I'm not sure the best way of doing that now I would prefer it if I had some sort of item teleportation device just some way okay that's all good now some way uh, to pour all these into a block which then take it to the recycler unfortunately I don't have that so what we're gonna have to do instead is just the shameful shift click of inefficiencies and we'll just take everything back and throw it into the recycler. The whole end goal of this, of course, is to start making blueprints for the cyberware so that we can make non-salvaged parts uh, and then get our tolerances levels down so that we can wear more. Uh, we're also going to have to go through and make a whole bunch of blueprints. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing in the meantime between episodes over here. I'm just going to be throwing random stuff from the spawner in here. I'm going to keep this potion of healing. It seems like a good idea. I have no idea what any of these bows had on them they've got soul power so soul bound power to flame i mean they're all right nothing nothing to really uh, write home about and over here i've been getting a bunch of scrap which is the end product of the recycler now what are we going to use the scrap for uh, honestly i'm not entirely sure i'm pretty sure we can actually use it to make like these scrap boxes and the scrap boxes are used in uh stuff I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I've never gone down this route, but that is something for, for playing with next time. But before we finish, I have one last question. Do you like the AI AR visor, or do you prefer the sunglasses? Very important. Let me know down below. I will see you next time when we're going to sort out all of these scrap items. Bye!